Greetings and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So I've done a little bit of investigating and the bunny mess we currently have in our inventory right now. Huh. Interesting, apparently. So the last mask that we can buy here, which is the bunny mask, sells for, we have to buy it for 50 rupees. Now, it turns out that the guy that buys it from us will buy it for the maximum amount of money that fits in our wallet. So, it is highly recommended that before we actually sell this thing, we actually get the very big wallet. Either the 200 or the 500, which... Uh, the 200 one requires 10 gold skull to this, which we already have. And the giant one requires 30, which is a lot, honestly. So we are going to become Large Link and proceed through the game until we can actually turn the gold skull to this into somebody which is actually a Kakariko Village channel that, and start working on the quest to get the giant sword. So this is going to be a pretty interesting episode. So welcome to the Temple of Time. Come on, let me move. There we go. So all we got to do now is come over here, place all these things here. Check. There are little, little, little description reads. So all we got to do now is... Mm, okay, so what was the Zelda song? Let's see. Uh, that is the Song of Time. Might be that one. Saria's song, Epona's song, Zelda's lullaby. Okay. Is it this one or is it the Song of Time? I am not sure. Might be either one. It's the Song of Time, which... How was it? How did it go again? Song of Time, okay. Okay, that's how it goes. No, wait. It's right eight and down, okay. There we go. That should cause the three stones to magically float out of our inventory and onto the pedestal. Spinning camera angles. So it was the Zora Sapphire, Goron Ruby, and Kokiri Emerald? I think what are their names? With that, that magically opens up. Magical stuff happening. And now it is time to get the Master Sword. And a whole lot of bad stuff is about to happen. Link, isn't that? Yes, it is, Navi. It is the legendary blade, the Master Sword. I wonder why they called it the Master Sword. Is it because it is better than every other sword? Of course not. The Begora Sword does more damage, but... However, it's not all fun and rainbows right now. <laughs> Excellent work! As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. This is actually interesting every episode, isn't it? You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Ma uh huh. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Then how about giving us something in return? Link. Oh, hold on. Wake up, Link, the Chosen One. How do you miss a big guy right in front of you? Hello. 
big guy. I am Rauru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Like, don't be alarmed, look at yourself. We have some very small eyes. Like, really small eyes. Look, Link, you're big now. You've grown up. Yes, we have. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed before the was sealed here for seven years, so we're 17. And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Hmm. Well, do you understand your destiny, uh, yeah. Right, it looks like you are confused. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Succeed play with you, but once we never touch. Ugh. Ugh, I don't know why I said no. Ugh. And yeah, I am pressing as many buttons as possible. Wrong button again. Not that button. Ugh. And yes, I cannot skip this as many buttons as I press. Yes, we do. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. <clears throat> he obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence even in the sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of those sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Yeah. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of other sages and add their might to your own. I don't really think this does anything for us in any way. We got a shiny coin! You received the Light Medallion, Raru. The Sage has this power to yours. That means absolutely nothing, because it's not like he gave us anything useful. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. Yes, but before all that, we are going to get a better sword. Because the Master Sword, it just is not good enough. And it's actually relatively short for the kind of stuff we're going to have to do. Enough fanciness. And we have a very pointed nose. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out here. Now, before we actually leave, someone needs to talk to us. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those distant to the saint to be sages who go in the five temples. One in a deep forest, obviously. One high in a mountain, obvious. One under a vast lake, obvious. One within the house of the dead, not so obvious. One inside a goddess of the sand, definitely not obvious. Together with the Hero of Time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return light of to peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am a Sheik. No, really. Survivor of the Sheikahs. Somehow I doubt it. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. 
One sage is waiting for you the time of awakening the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know, obviously. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Link? Yes, we do. Off we go. We are going to stop wasting as much time as we are right now. And we are going to get something particularly useful, which is the... Nom 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 nom. What was it? Anyway, we gotta go talk to the Kuko girl in Kakariko Village. So we are walking this way, walking this way now. Unfortunately, this place is now filled with Reedheads. As you can see. And yes, those screams will paralyze you, which is annoying. And the annoying part... Oh yeah, here's the guy that collects poet souls. Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. <laughs> Your name is Link, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the Grey Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poles are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a poet, I will pay you a lot of money for it. <laughs> yes, about that. There's still some money here. Some, not all. So anyway, he is the guy that we actually bring the poet souls to. And unfortunately, in order to catch a poet soul, you need to have an empty bottle to catch it in. Okay, so we are finally out. And as you can see... At least for the moment, there aren't any skeletons because it's daylight and only Hyrule Castle. And the fiery cloud on top Death Mountain got changed back to the default one for some reason. But anyway, before we actually head into the graveyard to get what we need, which is the hook shot, which is from the ghost of the gravedigger thingamajig dude, we are going to work on getting Epona, getting the giant sword, and then we'll head over to the graveyard. So, here we have these two guys that are talking. Let's see if we can do anything about this. Nope. What do you have to say? I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghost figure dampen the gravekeeper. So anyway, that's what they mean. So, the first thing we're going to do is come over here and talk to the cuckoo girl. If she's still here. She's still here. Excellent. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Kukos are very good at getting lazy. Light risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? Yep. It makes them very happy to crow, especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try it? Yep. Okay, so we got this, now we need to hatch it, and once it hatches... Please make a go happy. Okay, so we got this, so now... We need to make it hatch, and then we need to go wake somebody up. That certain somebody, I believe, is her brother. Now, I'm trying to remember where her brother is, which I think is somewhere over in Lake Hylia? But anyway, while it hatches, we're going to do something even more important, which is getting a Pona. So, in order to do that, keep walking there. Let's see, big guy. So, keep walking forward, big guy. So, off to the Lala Ranch it is. Good thing the entrance is right there, so all we gotta do is walk. Uh, no, let's see, uh, big guy. While we're walking over there, I am making sure I'm doing everything properly so we don't spend a whole episode. And apparently I was walking in in the wrong direction without looking. Anyway, uh, let's see. Here we go. Big on sword. Almost there. Let's see. Mm-hmm. There we go. The trading secret. So anyway, we are coming here.
Okay, we made it just in time. Whew. So unfortunately, the old man, the old lazy man is no longer here. However... He, so this guy took over. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch. But don't be ridiculous, that guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Yep. Do you want to hear how to ride? Nope, we already know how to. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, the only horse we can properly ride is the Pono. Now, if you don't play the song, you can't actually play ride a Pono. Here she comes. I'm aboard. Whoa! Did that, all we gotta do now is talk to him. When you want to dismount, stop and press the A button. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. If you use the targeting, you can talk to me from horseback. Are you ready to go home so soon? Nope. Hold on, I think... Let's say no for the moment, keep riding. Now, this is a Pona, obviously. Spring! Now, if I recall, we just need to finish up and then go talk to Malin, I think. I think she shows up at night. One more jump. There we go. Time's up, man. You only pay 10 rupees. You've played long enough. There we go. So all we gotta do now is leave. And there is a lot of cuckoos here. Odd. So all we gotta do is leave. Come back when it's night. First, let's see if his Malin's in here, cat. Let's see. Is she in here? Let's see, where are you? Uh, we've got cows. There you are! Oh, a visitor. It's been a long time since we've had a visitor here. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Yep. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I was a Mr. Ingo, he would treat the horses so badly, so there's nothing I can do. Anyway, so there she is. All we gotta know is come back at night when Mr. Ingo is asleep and she is with the horses. And then she'll recognize us, I believe, and then we can talk, I believe. I'm hoping. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so Talon's over there. So all we gotta do now is wait for a night. Here he comes. Is it night yet? I think it is. Okay. So back in here. We can hear her already. There she is over there. There we go, and this should get to talk to us. You, do you know my mother's song? Yep. Everyone really liked that song. My dad, even Mr. Ingo. 
But since Ganondorf appeared, Mr. Ingo has changed completely. I can remember the good old days only while I sing the song. Also, the opponent really liked that song. Only I could tame that horse. Even Mr. Ringo had a hard time. There we go. So, I believe now that we've done that, we can actually go over here. Now, our opponent should be in the stables. So, we can actually go check on her. And... Then we come back when it's day, talk to him again, play the song, I think, to Mr. Ingo. So, where are you? Where are you? Are you in here? Let's see, we've got cows, we've got, we're looking for the horse with the white mane, and she's not here. Hmm. That is interesting. But anyway... Let's go into the house, check if we're missing anything, because we have found interesting things by walking around. Here are the chickens. Go up here, and he should be asleep. Yep, there he is. He's sleeping, but I believe his sleep talks something. Stop that song, I mumble mumble mumble. I don't think it does anything here. I think we gotta play it to him once it's daylight. Yep, okay. So, all we gotta do now is go back out, come back in, play upon a song inside, and he should be like, how did you tame that horse? And stuff like that. And then we challenge him to a race, uh, beat him, beat him twice, and then we escape with the horse, quite literally. Okay. Where is the moon? There's the moon. So all we gotta do now is wait for time to go by, wait for day time to come back, and then we can actually go back in. Hmm, is there anything in this tree? Hello, Mr. Poet. Okay, so let's see, we can't use anything, so we cannot even fight it yet. Yeah, as you can see, you can't, you need the bow and arrow to fight them, so doing that is pointless. Yeah, you can't even hit him with the sword, it's impossible. As I am demonstrating. Come on, daytime, where are you? And they do eventually disappear, so you have a limited amount of time to kill them. And pick up their souls. Should be almost day. Yep, here it comes, here it comes. There's the moon going down. Come on, come on, crow. Come on, there we go. The chicken hatch, hooray, it's a miracle of life. So anyway, with the chicken we just have now, we go wake up Malin's dad, which is in, who is in Kakariko Village. And then she gives us another Kugo to do something else with it. And oh boy. So anyway. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time when we continue the quest to get a pwn from Mr. Ingo and get the big Goron sword because it is the most powerful and useful sword in the game. Even if you cannot block with it. So thank you for watching and we 